Recently, I've dived in and pretty deeply into the 3D printing. And sometimes when you are printing some functional stuff, for example, this frame for, for iPhone or for any phone for video and photo shooting, you need to solder or insert threaded uh, inserts into your parts to use some metal, right, for the better connection between parts. And that's why I need a soldering iron. Today I have a set from Fnirsi. This is intelligence electronic soldering iron, right? Together with a box. And I will show you what does it mean in a second. So, first of all, box. This is a box and you have a solder. You see this small piece of iron, what you can use if you need to solder some stuff. You have a holder for the hot iron. You have this part to clean your iron and you have place for several tools and you can store your iron inside. I will show you at the end when we will finish with our small project today. You will have a small stand. You will have several irons, one for soldering and another one for threaded inserts. You have several attachments for different diameters of inserts. You have a device itself, right? This one. You have power adapter, nice one by the way, looks cool. And you have really cool USB cable with a very flexible cable so it will no prevent you know from moving your iron from left to right. You have a case for the device itself. Now let's do our project. So today I need to insert several threaded insert into my frame and for that I'm gonna to use this piece of iron right we need just insert it in the middle and I need this diameter for my work today. Here you go. Let's check. Yeah, perfect. I can store it, you see, in a special holder when it's hot or I can use a small stand. Let's connect the, our iron from one side into the adapter and electricity and into the, our iron. By the way, you have a second cable just in case you need different options how to connect. And by the way, as I mentioned, we can use our storage to store our accessories. Now, let's see how it works. So first of all, we need to press OK. And now you can see it start heating and you can see even some smoke. Oh, it's ready. You can see that we have 350 Celsius as a temperature. It's more than enough for our project today. So what I'm going to do, you see, I have a holes on my frame and I inserted just several of them and I need more and I have this threaded inserts. So let's try together to insert these inserts into my uh, 3D printed frame. It's 3D printed from PLA, nothing complicated today, but let's try. And here you go, you see. How simple is it? One is done. Let's try one more. Here you go. I hope you can see how simple is it. Let me show you closer, right? You just pressing with this insert inside the plastic where you need the stuff to be and that's all. As simple as that. And now, for example, I need to switch it off. Yeah, just press okay and it will be on hold or on sleep right and while it's cooling down you can place it in your holder and that's all right so you have two irons one for insert and one for soldering if you need to do so you have this solder as a metal you have this uh, cap you know to, to put it let's let's try by the way can I can I put it inside yeah here you go so it it's not hot right so you can hide inside 
or if you're still in progress of your project you can keep it in a holder and you have one more small holder if you need you know some mobility if you need to go somewhere else and mainly that's all so this is a very useful small iron which can be a great help if you need to do some projects uh, with 3d printing right or if you need to solder any wires you have everything for that right so very small powerful intelligent and even nice looking device which will be obviously on my table for all my 3d printed or 3d printing projects see you next time thank you for watching